practically no time, you know, 9 to 5 college and then you try to study for one, one and a half hours and then you run, it was not enough. So then I cut down on this routine, I cut down on my beer, I cut down on my movies, I cut down on everything. But I still had to do two days outdoor catering to fund my expenses. But second year to third year, I was studying eight hours a night, <coughs> average. Okay, if you still ask me anything, I will tell you the page number and paragraph in Laru. Okay, then second year what happens? Training, correct? So we had a system in the college, if you get through that, you don't sit for overall, you get through overall, you don't sit for IT. Taj came first, I got in in Taj West and Bangalore as industrial training. Right? And that is where it got reinforced that yes, I want to be a cook. Alright? When I was doing training, my first month, it's like, you know, four stone boxes of carrot, so you peel and then you grate in the box grater, right? Fingernails getting grated, fingers getting grated, beautifully contaminated with human flesh. Grated carrot ready, which will be made into a halwa and get the seva. <laughs> right? Kind of like, did, did I sign up for this? Again, doubts began coming. Then I spoke to someone and then I was told a blunt answer. That look, you are coming in as a trainee. Why would we trust you to cook as food? So, the power is actually in your hands. You fix this in a time-bound manner and I promise to you that I'll teach you two things every day. And guess what they began teaching me first? How to make a toast. You all laugh now, but during those days, there was no toaster. There was pop-up toaster, but it was treasured like life. Okay? And then they taught me how to marinate a pan. Because that time, there was no non-stick. So, you take a tin pan and then you marinate. Otherwise, your omelette will stick. Correct? So, industrial training passed, came back to college, third year. Now, we are waiting. Okay, dates for Oberoi came. Oberoi come for OTAD, right? They were first out of the block. So, there was 14 days, 2 weeks left. In third year, we had hostel, luckily, and I was in the ground floor. First floor, ground floor had two different transformers. My floor transformer blue. Knowing it would have taken ages, so I go to the first floor, my classmates were so, and said, hey, please allow me, you know, because there were small rooms, three guys were staying in. I, can I study with you guys? No, 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 you're going to disturb this thing, that thing. They all kicked me out. I got very angry. There is an area in Bangalore called as Majestic, the bus stand area and railway station. I went and I bought 50 this big thick candles. Came back, okay? And I burnt all of them in next 30 years. When the Oberoi group came for interview, my name starts with V, right? Alphabetical order. At the end, by the Vice President of Human Resources. No longer with that company, his name is Varan Mandri. So he said, Vikas, I have to ask you a very personal question. I said, please. So he said, no, no, you may get angry, this and that thing before you come in. I said, look, you need to assess me 100 percent, right? So my promise, I will take it in my chin, I won't react. So he said, don't you think you feel bad that you are a binary? No. Honestly, cross your heart and say, don't you feel bad that you are born in India? So that was a trick question. I, I smiled and I said, you know what, sir, every day I wake up, I thank God, thank God I got I was born in India, not in Somalia. And I knew I had clinched it. So nine of interview panels, senior people, they all smiled and I knew I had cleared this round. And out of so many of us, they selected two. Next day in the morning, 
we had to refer to overall analog for final psychometric analysis. Okay. But my friend always went to that. If it gets dirty, by that time I will have a I will have chance to replace. In 1996, I came a total of 14 OCLD got through. Okay. Apart from management training, the other kitchen executive program and housekeeping, they got their appointment letters 8.30 in the night and I got it at 11. <coughs> so you will ask why? I wanted it back. I wanted to be with the best what the hotel industry had to offer. Now, there was a reason why I told you about my childhood. <coughs> I had two choices, withdraw in a shell or become shameless, attach myself with all those groups. I am sure your class also has many groups. Utilize my time and ensure my standard rises. My English was halting. I was very conscious about it. Extremely conscious. Is it grammatically correct? So what I did? I attached with South Indian gang. Brilliant English helped me. Correct? Then OCLD happens. So, you are not right. Three unions, absenteeism, and a crazily busy hotel. Okay? Now, you are thinking OCLD, you know it all. Really? No, you don't. My first day at work, I ran to the dry stores 17 <coughs> times. One seven. The storekeeper got so fed up when he saw me the 18th time, he shut the door. He said, Hobby na dada, sumi ja. So, fact of life is, I did hotel school, I did OCLD, and first day at work, I behaved exactly like an industrial trainee, right? I had to handle a team of six chefs, their average age was 47 years. So when I entered the kitchen on my first day, one gentleman, my chef the party said, Hey, you come here. And he said, P and C something he said. I understand Bengali and I speak Bengali, so that's fine. So I was like, okay. <laughs> Is boss? He's talking to me like this? No problem. You know what he taught me first day? How to cut vegetable sashlik and how to make vegetable sashlik for 500 people. That's what I did on my first day. And I was their boss. Now, during that time, the best western food, what you all call continent. Right? Everybody says Conti, Conti. I don't know what Conti is. Conti or Continental means Hindi mein bolte Mahatvi. So food can be Indian or Western or Chinese or Thai. There is nothing called as Oriental. What is Oriental? What is Orient? Some people say Southeast Asia, some people say Southeast Asia as well as Middle East. So you never know. Be specific in what you say. Alright, that time the chefs who were there in Calcutta, they were the masters in their trade. They could beat a western chef in their trade. You talk about shoe, you talk about roast, you talk about turkey, you talk about soups. 